Good evening to all. On behalf of Labudiyog Bharti Karnataka chapter, a very, very warm welcome to all the participants and our speakers today. Let me briefly introduce Labudiyog Bharti for the new members. Uh, LUBK is the state chapter of Labudiyog Bharti India, catering to 24 districts of Karnataka and works towards the empowerment of entrepreneurs in micro and small sectors. It ensures continuous support for development of businesses by creating and dis disseminating cross-industry best practices and critical knowledge and help members understand and keep abreast of changing economic conditions, the regulatory and taxation environment, and rapid technological changes. Operating through several expert committees representing all industry and service sectors, LUBK regularly organizes seminars, workshops, webinars, and industrial visits for its membership base so that the best practices can be replicated back in their own units. LUBK provides a strong interface with the union and state governments in the formulation of industrial policy, sector-specific schemes and policies with industry expertise, cutting-edge research and incisive analysis. It regularly submits representations to both immediate and long-standing issues to the state and central governments. Coming back to today's webinar, several members wanted a session on insurance for their workforce. So today we have with us Mr. K. R. Niranjana, insurance expert and management consultant, who will be speaking to us on the topic insurance cover and health benefits for employees. In addition, we have a panel of speakers who will address all our queries on any micro or specific topics you may raise with them. You may ask the question in the language that is very comfortable for you. Let me briefly introduce today's speaker. Sri K. R. Niranjana is a skilled engineering management professional with over 30 years of experience in industry paired with a consistent track record of successfully employing internationally accepted ethical business practices to achieve improved efficiency, reduced operating costs and increased productivity through teamwork. Sri Niranjana is a seasoned senior management professional, entrepreneur, career mentor and educator and trainer with a proven track record in India and abroad. He has been part of the senior management in several reputed organizations, industries and industries. Industries he has served as manufacturing, software and system engineering industries for over 30 years. He has a BE mechanical degree with PGD diploma in marketing and MBA in business analytics and intelligence. And he's a Six Sigma black belt holder. He's currently the founder director and management consultant of Niranjana Assurance Services, a privately owned management consulting and financial investment advisory service provider based out of Bangalore and which was established in 2009. Sri Niranjana is a insurance regulatory and development authority of India, IRDAI certified agent for life, health and general insurance. Now I hand over the session to Mr. Suresh Ayer and Dr. Purvi to host the session today. Sir. Uh, thank you, Shekhar. Thank you, LUBK management and team uh, for hosting this series of webinars and uh, particularly the Women Entrepreneurship Series. Uh, today's topic is going to be on insurance. So a quick uh, two, three lines from me and then handing over to Dr. Purvi and Niranjana. You know, insurance business uh, thrives, you know, because they have mastered the art of probability. You have all studied maths. So if you look at what is probability, insurance business is all about mastering that art of probability. All the citizens of the world have a right, mostly have a right to get insured. So you can imagine if each citizen of the world is insured, how much money it is. Insurance companies are drivers of the world economy. Insurance companies are also the biggest players in the equity, mutual funds, national bond market and are involved in nation building. Uh, the country's LIC is the largest insurance company in India and is now facing competition from a dozen players but can't come close to it. Do you know every world event, be it the Olympics, Commonwealth Games or each cricket or football game is insured? In good times, no one wants insurance. In bad times, 
no one has insurance and needs it badly many don't have insurance risks are all pervading what are risks what is insurance what is it especially for the employees let's go through this in two parts followed from my speech i welcome dr purvi to talk about risks and then we will take uh, to the next topic of what is the insurance covering those risks dr purvi please thank you suresh uh, thank you elibi for inviting me uh, today the topic which has been given to me is mitigating risk and entrepreneurship i am dr purvi pujari i am an associate professor of entrepreneurship and i am a very uh, critical part of a, i'm a counselor in institute innovation and incubation cell so today we'll be talking about risk which entrepreneurs face but before i start that i want to congratulate all of you that all of you have taken a path which is full of risk and i really salute you as a society we should really bring more credit to entrepreneurship uh, i done my phd in economics and my topic was uh, concentrated on small and medium enterprises and i used to go to these tiny uh, factory sheds and small places where these entrepreneurs were starting their business and as a management passed out i graduate i used to think what makes them do that what makes them feel that yes this is the path then uh, leaving the comforts of 9 to 5 an air conditioner office cabin so this was in 1990s and i used to feel that why all of them have taken a path which is so much full of risk and uh, this question is still there that there's so much of risk in entrepreneurship and i always tell my students who want to start a, have a startup want to start a business that you take risk but you are the one who's reaping the benefit you're not working for somebody who's taking the risk you're taking the risk and reaping the benefits of it and slowly and gradually i feel compared to 1990s the society is saluting so very soon we'll be having those posters compared to you know sachin tendulkar and movie stars will be having uh, he posters of those entrepreneurs having said that i would like to uh, uh, show you a little quote by establishing milestones gates and questions along the way you are ensuring that you are being smart about the risk you are taking and as hard as it is you've got to be ready and say we are stopping so this quote tells that uh, every entrepreneur has to be ready has to be really agile and active in identifying the risk which are there in the business so today we'll be discussing some of the risk i have some sort short stories from my own experience as being a part of the incubation cell where we give but to lots of new startups and what are the risks they face so what do you do with the risk in your business first either you avoid or resolve the risk that is completely eliminate or forego the risk right or you mitigate or you transfer or you accept the risk when i say you avoid or resolve the risk there is a, a element that you want to remove that risk from your business i'll give you a story that suppose you are an apparel business you are in a business where you are making dresses yesterday we had a discussion and one of my uh, student was doing that and we told her in covid times you let go working on the product line where you are working on luxury items or high end formal dresses so because that's a risky business right now in this covid pandemic times so you as an entrepreneur will have to identify where the risk lies in your business and which are the risks which you can avoid you can just resolve the risk and not let it be a part of your business the second type of risk which can be reduced the likelihood of it impacting your business that can be reduced again i have an example one of my student was her uncle was in uh, oil production business and she wanted to start a business with that by product of that business with the cattle feed now the cattle feed business the farmers which she, she wanted to give that cattle feed to the uh, farmers right she wanted to package that cattle feed add it to something and then sell it but the farmers were usually uh, involved in only the traditional uh, aspect of cattle feed whatever they were uh, giving as a food to their cattle the cows and buffaloes were usually whatever they could get their hands on very traditional kind of items so she was very worried about what whether the, her product will be accepted or not so we told her that you have to reduce that risk of non acceptance by the farmers you bring a veterinary doctor a nutritionist and advisor and we got all of them combined and had a workshop for the local farmers who understood the importance of giving the preg pregnant cattle and the right amount of nutrition the right mix of nutrition and that is how she could reduce the risk of non acceptance of her product so every time there are multiple risks today we will be discussing most of them 
you'd have to identify can i avoid can i mitigate can i transfer the third one which i wanted to discuss is transfer the risk can you move that risk to somebody else so today the main topic is transferring the risk we'll be discussing how you can ensure your products your employees and you can reduce the risk which might come out of the blue to your business so you can just transfer that risk to an insurance company and you can reduce the impact on your business and last one is accept the risk acknowledge the risk and choose not to resolve transfer or mitigate all risk cannot be solved so you have to take with a pinch of salt that this is the risk my business has again i have two examples the same cattle feed example so farmers were not ready to pay in advance they were not used to it the traditional market the farmers were always used to pay in after uh, like you no know, they had their crops and they had money in their hand so she had to accept that this business runs on credit so half of her business was on credit the second aspect is again one more uh, person who was running a printing business had a machinery which was obsolete and now we try to identify how much money would be required to up, update upgrade that machinery and that machinery uh, the cost of upgrading that machinery was so huge that the person was ready to have that risk that if the machinery fails uh, and the production is stalled so sometimes you have to uh, do a cost benefit analysis and understand what are the risks which you can accept in your business rather than solving them because sometimes solving those risks might be too expensive for you to do that next we come to the types of risks so these are the risks we'll be discussing today financial risk strategic risk technological risk operational and environmental risk dr puri ma'am uh, yes, your slides yes. are not moving okay okay i'll do that now are they moving yes ma'am yes ma'am please go ahead okay. okay i think the slide shows not working fine so next is financial risk so what are your funding options most of the startups most of the our students and uh, entrepreneurs we connect to do that mistake of putting all eggs in one basket so are you taking funding from only one or two sources so again the startups specifically women entrepreneurs in my experience have seen they go for either bootstrapping personal loans what is bootstrapping bootstrapping is when an entrepreneur takes uh, like his personal savings and all into account while starting a business so or the cash advances on the debit cards and credit cards now what happens then when you are putting all your personal loans then you are putting all eggs in one basket and that is very very risky for a business very big financial risk for a business again i have one example one of my student was starting a baking business and her aunt her maternal aunt was promoting her like anything that this is why like you know all of us are with you you are so creative you'll be very successful there is a huge uh, demand for uh, cakes and bakery items nowadays and everything goes on and the business started becoming successful and then the covid came and then what happened that the slowly gradually the orders started uh, dropping reducing and then her maternal aunt as started asking for the money back because her daughter was to be married now what happened this spoiled their personal relationship now she could not go to the banks for the loans in that situation where the uh, business was under a big loan so the bootstrapping or the personal funding personal finances come at a cost and most of the mistake most of the biggest risk comes from no paperwork sometimes uh, the entrepreneurs take personal loans and they avoid the paperwork they do not want to pressurize or they do not want to ask the relatives when they want to their money back and that uh, avoidance or that uh, absence of paperwork becomes an issue when there is a funding issue so make sure that you don't take such a financial risk and make sure all your paperwork is at place and specifically the loan uh, payment uh, dates and uh, rate of interest and everything is clearly specified now some of our students are also going for crowd funding so now this is the new thing most of the students have a event management company or something new some bright idea and they go to uh, facebook and other traditional uh, non traditional portals and ask for money from people who want to invest in that business so that is one thing bank loans angel invest investors could be somebody in your own society locality or religious community who would like to become an angel for your business and would like to invest in so there are lots of options there venture capitalists are the businessmen who want to invest in the business and then there are government schemes like niti aayog wep so make sure that you uh, do not put all eggs in one basket try to diversify your funding opportunities 
so that whenever there is a risk to your business you have it well spread out so uh, again uh, be a, do a swot analysis what are your threats financial threats to your business is this a no, no, a customer not paying somebody who owes you money or a business loan which has to be paid back so make sure you understand the opportunity cost of each and every funding opportunity which you are take, taking what is the plan b and make sure you do all kind of swot analysis which when you take a loan or take any funds so financial cash flow is very very important you make sure that you have a cash flow control over your business and you understand how the cash flow is going to be in the next few days or sorry next few years now i wanted to discuss strategic risk a lot today because uh, sometimes specifically the women entrepreneurs tend to miss out on that it's a dynamic environment we uh, i think covid 19 pandemic has been a big lesson for us how dynamic the business environment can be and uh, that is why we have to keep uh, like you know be very active on what can go wrong and where the opportunity might be lying so what are your competitor strategy uh, are you a step ahead from them are you innovating again coming back to my own experience one of my student had a restaurant business a small business where they were making very um, like you know uh, very hip hype dishes where they were like you no know, focused on one kind of cuisine only and when the covid happened the order started declining and with the lockdown the government did not uh, if this was the last year and government didn't allow them to open what they did they made a whatsapp group of foodies and they started uh, uh, advertising that this is a regional cuisine right from north to south to west everywhere they started that every day this is going to be the dish which we, uh, this is going to be the regional cuisine we'll be making and the order started pouring in because everybody was getting bored at home they wanted sometimes they wanted tamilian food sometimes they wanted marathi food and sometimes they wanted something from the north so they used to highlight that this is what the menu is going to be for the next week and people used to order and slowly gradually people who were uh, looking for uh, having a innovative kind of food uh, and they were getting bored they were working from home they started uh, giving them orders so can you innovate can you do something differently you stay in your product line but you have to start thinking what can i do differently what are my competitors doing can i innovate staying in the same business what is my unique selling proposal again i have a small story to tell you when amazon started uh, their online business in 1990s they were thinking what they can sell on like amazon being amazon had lots of opportunities they could have sold furniture they could have sold apparels they could have sold anything now when you talk about apparel in those days uh, having an apparel customers were not ready they wanted to try it before they wanted to, they would were ready to order so just make it a point i am talking about 1990s people were not ready to order food online they thought the re- local person will deliver them faster so there was no grocery business online there was no apparel business online furniture was out of the question people were not ready to spend so much online the security issue was there and then amazon came with books and cds and they realized that this is what customers will be comfortable buying online you don't have to read a book you don't have to test a book right like an electronic equipment you know the author you know the content it's a best seller you order that same with music cds so this is how you identify your product mitigate the risk reduce the risk of going for a wrong product if you take that strategic risk uh, in hand make a intelligent decision with an entrepreneurial mindset you will reduce the risk of facing the competition so competitive risk will be out of your uh, field once you in a wait once you have a wonderful unique selling proposal every business has a unique selling proposal so you have to identify that identify your strengths make sure your customers are ready for you there are, i have so many examples where the businesses have gone up ahead of the times people were not ready for that then there are some uh, some people who are not upgrading not innovating enough so you have to remove that risk i want to also to discuss the covid-19 impact uh, i we all know that uh, businesses are impacted by covid-19 what are you doing are you just crying about your own business not getting orders or are you connecting with the community right now this is a time to network this is the time to give back to the society and it doesn't have to involve money it only needs your presence it does only involves your emotional connect with the locality you being there your efforts your physical efforts your team can go out and connect with the people just have your this take this as a branding opportunity covid 19 is some sometime where the community needs you so it's vice versa when there was can you know, just skip through the slides and finish without the examples yeah yeah i'll be going 
So this is the time you connect with the student, uh, connect with the disruptive technology. So Netflix again did an innovative community. So again, your in, uh, employees could be wonderful way in which you can connect to the, reduce the risk and they, they can tell you what would be the best way to come product. And one more thing is what is your exit plan? So uh, women entrepreneurs especially do not think of what is the exit plan. Do you have a risk plan ready? When I talk to this, when I give a lecture and I tell the entrepreneurs, suppose you die today, what is going to happen to your business? All of them, most of them are blank. They do not have an exit plan. They do not know who is going to take over. Most of the like, no, kids are not ready to take over the business. And do, they do not have an exit plan ready. So make sure you have an exit plan ready. Technological risk, we all know the financial, the way fintech is moving. You have to make sure you're not obsolete. You are taking the payment thing, everything online and making sure you're up to the mark to the what. Uh, technology upgradations are happening, the product upgradation, bracketing. Cybersecurity is one thing which I feel the women entrepreneurs specifically do not invest in. And this is the era where it, I think it is very worth investing. You should look into the security of whatever information you have online and also invest in social media because social media is something which is coming up like anything. We have the Maggie fiasco as an example where social media can be a disadvantage to you. People uh, very quickly all over the India, people know what is wrong with Maggie. So you can take social media as a branding. You can take students as an internship, make sure they use that. So do not take technological risk. Do not be obsolete in your business. And then operational risk day to day, you might have a breakdown or theft of key equipment or supply chain uh, issues, risk. IT systems, accounting control. So make sure you have ensured your business against all these kind of issues. And the most important ones are environmental risks. So we all know the political interference or political violence happens in the surrounding areas of your shop or your business. So have you insured your business? Social risk, there is a gender bias. So what do women entrepreneurs can do? They can have a cushion. They can have a networking with senior people in the industry. They can have the industry mentors, experts from the field, technical experts, as well as experienced businessmen who can mentor them and have a circle of support for your personal things also. Legal regulatory issues, we will be discussing them later. And obviously the ecological, the natural disasters which might happen. So again, insurance is the only solution to your uh, risks which are there in the business. So uh, this almost covers health insurance, I think will be taken by, uh, I just want to wrap up, go to the last slide. We have lots of FAQs with you, for you, for the health insurance. So if you don't want to invest in risk management, it doesn't matter what business you are in, it is going to be a risky business. So make sure you invest in the risk management. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Purvi. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Niranjana, the stage is yours. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, speak loudly, sir. Keep Good your evening, mouth everyone. Speak. Can you hear me? Yeah, a little better, but speak loud. Okay. Can you can you see my screen now? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see, sir, can you keep the mouthpiece closer to yourself, sir? Please. I have I have it. I have okay. it more close to me. Okay. See, I, I am going to talk about insurance cover and health benefits uh, for employees. The topic uh, given to me by uh, Professor Suresh here. Uh, hopefully, all of you will get benefited. See, my initiative uh, or uh, a proprietary company called Nirajana Assurance Services, I started with as a company called Spurti College Man Quality Management Solutions earlier after I came out of corporate in uh, 2009. Uh, I started insurance services in 2018 and uh, essentially we deliver management consultancy and insurance advisory, business planning and entrepreneurial uh, help services, other help services. So I am also a member of quality uh, council for uh, circle forum of India. 
Niranjana, you speak loudly. Yeah, we can't hear. A little louder. Okay. Now? Okay. So this part of uh, this has been covered by uh, Mr. Shekhar. So I'm going to skip. Uh, a few things which I need to talk about uh, within this is uh, uh, I am a lead auditor for several quality management systems which are aimed at reducing business risks. Uh, then I have worked from uh, basic pin manufacturing to satellite terminal level. So uh, I have exposure to various uh, development aspects of uh, uh, you know uh, any product and services. So why do we need insurance cover uh, and uh, health benefits? That is the topic we are talking about uh, for employees. Okay. So when we talk about quality management systems, there are two aspects which I want to cover, statutory compliance and regulatory compliance. So the laws of India, which are uh, uh, predominantly coming under the gamut of uh, uh, Factories Act and Workman Compensation Act, which are currently, apart from Labor Act and so many other things, which are uh, very relevant for the uh, industries, whether it is small, big, or uh, 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 high level enterprise, all these are very important. Okay, so what is Factories Act? According to Factories Act, an occupier of an establishment has to ensure that health and safety and welfare of all workers while they are working in the factory. So, uh, the responsibility of the owner of the factory has, has been defined, they have to take care of their employees in a nutshell. So what is Workman Compensation Act, which talks about how an employee can injury can affect the business in, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of financial loss and uh, other things. OK, next Workman Compensation Act. Further thing is wage replacement is also an important aspect, which risk, like Madam said, the risk is transferred to the insurance company by taking the workman compensation policy and medical benefits are also given including the funeral of the employee okay so what if it doesn't it, if it is not done the employers becomes become insolvent because they have to pay huge damages to the loss of uh, 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 due to loss of the employee employees and they have to compensate their family members so these are for uh, uh, further information i'm not going to elaborate on that so what are the key benefits uh, in a, a, an entrepreneur should plan uh, when we when they take workman compensation when, we, when they look at workman compensation one is medical treatment, ongoing care if there is a dismemberment or disability due to accident, loss of wages that has to be paid, and then funeral cost if there is a death, disability benefit if the employee uh, has the uh, you know uh, an organ lost an organ due to accident, then they have to replace that. Uh, I mean compensate that. So what are the solutions available in the market? Uh, ESI is a government organization, so employee state insurance, which uh, all of you are familiar with, which is uh, 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 again come. So what I deal with is a channel called agency channel. There are other channels uh, uh, for providing the insurance, which are uh, uh, provided by IRDI recognized insurance companies, both uh, in the general insurance category and life insurance category. So what are the uh, uh, solutions available to uh, uh, entrepreneurs? Group life insurance is one such uh, benefit where a loss of life of an employee can be transfer, uh, uh, I mean compensated by the life insurance company uh, and that uh, risk is transferred to them and employee employer can save their uh, cash reserves. Group health insurance, uh, which uh, can be taken from seven member minimum to uh, 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 any number for that, okay? More than uh, 1,000 also is possible. Minimum number of members which are, which are covered under group health insurance is seven members. 
otherwise individual health insurance is always there individual and personal family health insurance group uh, i mean family again in that floater benefits are there uh, or individual health cover can be taken okay so then corona coverage during this corona uh, 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 you know situation uh, insurance companies have been asked by irdi to introduce a product which is corona coverage which is specifically meant for corona care okay uh, the minimum sum assured starts with 50000 rupees up to 5 lakhs you can take including hospital cash benefit uh, so the premiums are fixed at very low rate and uh, the period maximum period is uh, around three, uh, 265 days okay nine and a half months uh, to be precise so uh, and this is not a renewable uh, insurance and those who want to protect themselves can go for corona coverage then group personal accident insurance is also an important uh, insurance every employer must consider and lot of uh, good companies are already uh, going for it it's important uh, like like the law specified when a, when you hire an employee not only during the work that is in the premises of the uh, working work premises also during the transit or during the business transit work, worker can get affected or uh, uh, may, may meet with an accident those risks are transferred to personal accident cover in that all the expenses related to hospitalization uh, operation organ replacement so many other aspects of uh, personal accident uh, can be taken care through group personal accident insurance now motor insurance ha has made it mandatory to have personal accident cover for every person when those who have either a two wheeler four wheeler you must have minimum 15 lakhs insurance cover okay if your policy does not have it ensure that you have one okay then key man insurance recently i was talking to one of my friends who is an uh, uh, msme owner uh, he was telling me a story one of his uh, employees uh, died due to some some sickness and uh, they had to uh, he had to compensate his family uh, for uh, further living you know they he had to pay them cash luckily he had a term life insurance which is uh, also called as key man insurance bought by him for that employee and he paid them some 30 lakhs or whatever that coverage was there was paid to the family and they could start their uh, life again so the essentially he saved uh, cash from his enterprise so that's another and employers employee insurance uh, is a uh, gesture uh, or employee retention uh, product where if you have a uh, set of employees you want to recognize and uh, support them you can have this insurance buy this insurance on on behalf of the employee and uh, take care of their uh, benefits uh, if when they leave the organization you can hand, hand it over to them uh, as a uh, gift you know or gesture uh, so what happens to the uh, employer employer will save tax on the premium paid on behalf of the employee all these products wherever uh, employer uh, invest for the uh, employee they will uh, get the tax benefit msme general insurance is available uh, uh, nowadays uh, which may not have uh, uh, much uh, uh, it may not save you much in terms of premium but it is it uh, takes care of fire and burglary related risk okay so the solutions uh, provided by us are uh, from LIC, largest insurance company, Max Life Insurance, both are life insurance companies, New India Assurance, which is a general insurance company, which also gives health insurance, group health insurance and things like uh, things like that, Marine Insurance, so many other insurance products are there. Manipal Signa Health Insurance is another standalone health insurance company, which also gives group insurance and MSME group insurance as well. So other uh, important aspects of my uh, services are in management, where we target these trainings and awareness sessions uh, to make the employees aware of the business and how to conduct the business, 
how to reduce defects and improve the quality of the product which helps in reducing the business risk class of business risk okay so uh, also uh, we provide uh, us help in digital marketing and things like that so those who are uh, more interested in insurance and uh, uh, what insurance is all about you can go to irdai site uh, which is uh, 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 at government of india uh, agency which controls all insurance companies it also has a grievance uh, mechanism for your for you to support and all listed companies uh, under irdi uh, website are uh, good companies to go for and buy your health uh, health insurance and life insurance as well so with that i i conclude my session uh, if you have any questions further we can uh, answer that yes sir thank you very much sir um can you close the presentation sir sorry sir i, I... can you close the presentation sir sure you can see all the participants now the floor is open now anybody can ask questions you can even ask in kannada so that uh, we have uh, niranjan sir we have uh, shekhar i have uh, i have mentioned in the chat box you can ask yes. yeah uh, sir there is one question from mr bojraj uh, can you hear me sir niranjan sir yes sir i can hear i heard from social media that a recent amendment from 1st april that all insurance companies have to insert a compulsory clause of terrorism in all industrial policy impact uh, is increase in premium by 35% can you uh, please answer that question sir sir we have not received any circular uh, it it should be general uh, insurance uh, uh, company thing uh, or or uh, yeah predominantly general insurance uh, let's see uh, because uh, right now uh, uh, there is no co communication to mm -hmm. us uh, to the agency channel okay uh, we have a question from our president mr shrikanta datta could you please highlight the salient aspects of group gratuity insurance scheme see group gratuity is uh, uh, given by life insurance corporation of india in my case uh, uh, th that is the organization uh, also uh, there is a uh, there are other companies like icici uh, those those who provide that each company has uh, different features in life insurance uh, of uh, india uh, for the uh, employee uh, based on the experience they provide uh, the gratuity uh, scheme which again is uh, feature based i can lead that to uh, uh, you know when you require gratuity i can connect you to the gratuity group which i am not uh, coordinating or directing i will connect to the uh, i will connect you to the gratuity group uh from lic from the head head office and then they will t help you with all the uh, features and uh, benefits uh, you can get okay there's another question sir uh, can you elaborate on group health insurance and group life insurance uh, the process involved and the premiums what will be the premium i cannot answer the yeah, last benefits. question uh, last question premiums part i cannot answer but i can answer Uh, uh the process of going for a life uh, a group life insurance what we need is a list of your employees uh, their uh, uh, a date of birth and uh, uh, the details and uh, uh, other details uh, say so their salary based on that and then also the sum assured which you want to uh, take take based on that premium will be decided so this uh, group benefit means uh, the uh so there is there, there will be a group discount directly applied to the group insurance policy and hence you save the premium so there will be a cost difference between individual personal accident cover to group accident cover you uh, then then you asked about uh, group uh, life uh, i mean health insurance so group health insurance predominantly covers uh, uh, from zero day cover means there is no waiting period in a normal health health insurance there is a waiting period of minimum 24 months to 48 months 
for a low cost premium policy minimum waiting period is 48 months for a high end policy it, it can be for 24 months so we give cover from 1 lakh to 3 crores so each level there is a different waiting period in case of group uh, health insurance the waiting period is zero so from the day of policy inception you get the benefit of claiming claims if any and uh, it, it, what was the other question i think i, I answered uh, all the questions yes sir. the premium part is you said that it's difficult to answer that premium entirely depends on the date of birth of the individual that is ages and then the sum assured how much sum assured you want to uh, take for each individual each company defines that hr people will uh, based on the pay scale they, they tell us the sum assured in in case of all these insurances group life group personal accident cover or group health insurance premium sum assured will be decided by the organization and based on that based on the level of the employee and uh, uh, those things we will decide on the premium rates uh, sir uh, narayan prasanna here what is the minimum number of uh, policy holders uh, uh, for the group health insurance? Uh, Sir, what is the eligibility? For, for SMEs, there is a new product from Manipal Signa, which uh, specifies minimum number should be seven for, for an organization. That is only employees will be covered in that. In case of uh, your requirement also is for the family of the employees, then you should go for the normal group health insurance which uh, uh, for uh, Manipal Signa, we require about 15, 1, 5. In case of, uh, uh, in case of uh, New India Assurance, minimum 50 employees must be there. And including family members, total coverage number of members should be 100. Otherwise, they will not give the policy, New India Assurance. In Manipal Signa, for a, uh, if you want to cover family also, it starts from 15 members. Sir, for a SME Premium amount varies uh, with this Manipal Signa as well as uh, other general insurance companies. Correct, sir. Yes, yes. It uh, it, it varies. Each company it varies, and uh, uh, always uh, uh, the process we follow is we take the list of employees and submit the quotation, and uh, employers uh, can also sit with the insurance company and negotiate the price a little bit here and there. In case of uh, Manipal Signa, we, we can do that. In case of uh, New India Assurance, they are a little uh, rigid in terms of uh, uh, negotiations, but we can negotiate for at least around 10% of the uh, quoted, quoted premium. Cost-wise, Manipal Signa, as of now, is the uh, lowest cost as of now. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the case. So, Sir, my name is Akhilesh Babu. Yes, sir. Uh, I have uh, two, three organizations uh, which is uh, uh, covered under group gratuity insurance scheme. Mm. Uh, now, the, having three group gratuity insurance schemes are becoming a little dainty for us to operate and keep uh, watch on it. Can we merge all the three and bring it into one uh, group gratuity insurance scheme? Sir, under I, one trust? I can, I can uh, uh, answer that through my uh, uh, the channel uh, that is uh, insure LIC channel uh, so we can connect offline and take your problem to them they will be able to help you out with the restructuring or whatever because LIC has a lot of experience in gratuity schemes and they handle big big accounts like uh, big big companies with uh, thousands of employees so uh, they are the best people to help you out you can uh, email me later we can uh, discuss this offline and then take it forward from there Right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Team Deco. Team Deco, please go ahead. Sir, uh, good evening. I just wanted to check, like, you know, uh, I have uh, close to 5 to 10 employees in my factory, but uh, they keep fluctuating often you know the employees are not permanent but they keep operating with the missionaries so how do you handle this sir it's like you know they might stay they stay the factory for one year or six months it depends on the uh, salary what they get outside so if they get more they will jump so in that case if i uh, take the insurance then like how do i handle it or like how, how i really want to give them the benefits is there any way that you know uh, i can give them 
or help them with the health benefits yes yes, yes. Uh, there are uh, there is uh, something called contractors insurance which uh, is designed to the nature of this kind of uh, fluctuations uh, we can take it offline and discuss with the insurer and then uh, work it out okay okay sir thank you yeah so there is a question from mr nagraj k is there any timeline for settlement of insurance claim it depends from the uh, depends on the insurance company and uh, uh, normally uh, they take uh, within a week they submit as i mean give all the claims depending on the customers uh, particularly in group insurance also the settlement rate is quite fast uh, so all the uh, insurers which i coordinate with new india assurance or manipal signa have a agency called third party agency they try to ensure that the settlements are quite fast so the the service uh, 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 level agreement uh, is usually within 7 days so that is pretty much it as of now Un unless there is uh, some documentation discrepancy the claim settlement should not take a lot of time nowadays uh, there is a question from ms ms lalita but it's a bit tricky uh, can you share more details on corona coverage process and if a person already affected with corona can we get insurance for him and then claim no uh, last question no corona coverage certainly i can share the brochure uh, with uh, those who want uh, i can share uh, uh, you can you can message me i will share uh, that i i consciously made this not a marketing exercise uh that is why i am not bringing too much of details of the products those who are interested please contact me offline i will certainly help you with all the details you require on the insurance you require yeah so otherwise there are, you know if it is on the public domain and they can get it you can send it to shaker because they have got better facility to share with members i will send it to shaker mr shaker you let me know after this meeting what all the uh, uh, questions i mean what all the uh, documents they requested i have uh, uh, brochures for that and send it across to you Sure, sir. Okay. I um, don't want to just uh, uh, you know push the idea to anybody. Those who insurance is subject matter of solicitation. So those who want it, please uh, contact me or uh, uh, through Shaker. I will send it across to you. Yeah, Niranjana, there is a chorus. Everybody wants. Excellent, excellent. I will send it to Mr. Shaker. Corona coverage you require, right? Corona coverage. I will send the brochure and also group SME uh, PDF. I will send it uh, across to Mr. Shaker. he can distribute it across to people is it possible now to just uh, briefly explain that sir corona coverage and msme uh yes give me a uh, sec Sir, meantime, you can ask this question. Last question from Vintesh B M in the chat box. Yes, sir. I have one question. <clears throat> Shaikh, I have one question. Yes, Mr. R K. Please, please go ahead. This is regarding fire claim. This, Mr. Nirajan, uh, if it is a high value fire claim, how long it will get? Uh, normally, it will take to settle it. Nirajan, my question no. is: It is regarding fire claim. is a high value claim how long it will take to settle the claim is there any period restriction is that sir it entirely depends on the insurance company sir which uh, uh, normally there is a week uh, one week uh, duration defined to them okay uh, by irdi so uh, it depends sir uh, again i i cannot comment uh, based on my experience people have got quick uh, settlement if their documents are correct you know uh, so there is no no issue in settlement at all even after four months we are not got what to do for that which company sir new india insurance which branch sir new india insurance i said which right. branch which branch mr arthi uh, you want me tell that okay bombasan sir branch okay so uh, you need to contact the branch manager sir i, I see i am i am uh, 
associated with jc road branch if something i can help from jc road branch you tell me sir i can sit on the right no actually they don't have control because their surveyor has got a control because they have already put a surveyor surveyor takes so much of time asking for various papers that is since five months he is asking going on asking paper 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 all offices fed up with the start giving the paper what do we do where to get settled these things i understand sir i understand your concern it a very insurance company has their own uh, uh, you know way of working so i cannot uh, uh, comment on that if it is uh, something which i can uh, help you with certainly i would uh, want to sir okay thank you hmm? sir uh, now can you see the screen now yes sir we can see it uh, can yeah. you keep, keep your mouth piece closer to you sir i am now keeping so i left it a uh, little bit so this is uh, uh, the snapshot of corona coverage policy highlight of that okay some insured starts from 50000 to 5 lakhs uh, in, in in the multiples of 50000 so like 50000 1 lakh 1.5 lakh that's how you can take it entry age day 1 to 65 years so maximum 65th year uh, you can take after that it is not allowed policy given either individual or floater basis i suggest individual policy usually and you can uh, in one policy a professor can Uh, cover his family, his relatives like father-in-law, mother-in-law, uh, sister, uh, brother. All those people can be covered in one policy. So, uh, if if there is a positive diagnosis, uh, the policy triggers. If there is already an exposure to COVID, this policy cannot be given. But there is no prior medical check as well. You can take the policy, but during the Uh, hospitalization and during the claim if they find out that you already ha are exposed to uh, covid 19 they will not they will reject your claim okay minimum hospitalization is uh, for 24 hours which is a mandatory requirement and now i think also they also allow home care also so if you are uh, uh, under home quarantine also they will uh, take care of your uh, uh, you know medicines and other things if there is any expense which agency charges you so pre hospitalization uh, there is a waiting period of uh, 15 days post hospitalization up to 30 days it is covered ambulance charges 2000 is covered room rent icu no limit no proportionate deduction policy period is starts starts from 3 and 1/2 months to uh, 285 days so minimum period you can take is for 3 and 1/2 months so normally uh, because there is an expectation of third wave you uh, i recommend you go for to and 9 and 1/2 months so no free look period normally in every insurance there is something called free look periods of 15 days usually within that period if you uh, think that you have brought a wrong product you uh, can return the policy to the insurance company and they will have to reimburse but in this case there is no free look period ayush there is no limit home care treatment is also available for uh, 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 up to 15000 waiting period is 15 days so as soon as you take the policy you cannot get admitted uh, so if there is an exposure after 15 days there is a possibility of uh, and by the way if you have a normal health insurance or a group insurance that is already uh, taking care of corona coverage so you don't have to buy corona coverage separately if you don't want to uh, consume from your regular health insurance then you can go for corona cover separately so covers include treatment for any comorbid conditions also comorbidity or diabetes hypertension lung disease which are listed in the bottom here so this is uh, basically the uh, uh, and there is a uh, optional cover of hospital cash up to 0.5% of maximum minimum maximum 15 days so the thing is uh, if you have diabetes and other things there will be an additional loading of 15% on the premium any any questions on this so there is a, a period of 15 days before you take the correct sir see insurance uh, insurance uh, uh, has to be taken when you don't want it uh so this uh, expectation is 15 days minimum you have to wait uh, i mean it is not expected that you contact corona you have to take care of yourself but uh, for the uh, for some reason you get in contact you can get treatment after 15 days uh question on this uh, 
corona coverage if you have an esi uh, do you need uh, the corona coverage for the esi people i don't think esi covers corona sir i don't know about esi policies because that is purely government uh, initiative so uh, uh, if you please check once if you uh, check with people who coordinate for your esi if that is not covered please take it uh, take it as a separate policy sir the premiums are very very nominal in corona coverage policy there is no prior medical check okay and uh, the policy is issued with very minimal documentation we only require your pan card or aadhar pan and aadhar uh, that's all otherwise there is no other documentation is requested whatever you declare over phone i will take it and enter the policy and issue it so i am a direct agent of new india assurance i can issue this policy uh, without any intervention from the branch and uh, 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 so it is very easy to uh, issue the policy here fine any any, any other question sir yeah mr girish kumaste can you go ahead and ask the question you are asking about transferable employee mr girish kumaste so now be, be, before this any any further question on corona cover That's it, sir. That's it. All right. So, uh, yeah, sir. Girish, you can Girish, close sir. this, uh, sir. Yeah, uh, sir. I am uh, Girish Kumar. Sir, see, we like to know that any health insurance, any policies for MSME, with uh, some assure. Normally, these health policies are uh, just like our vehicle insurance. It will go yearly, we have to renewal, or three years we have to renewal like this. Is there any like our uh, life insurance? we are going on paying the uh, whatever the uh, insurance uh, uh, yearly or like that we will it be returnable after uh, it is um, uh, policy is uh, matured like that is there any, that is one first question second question is uh, i think uh, one madam uh, already has asked uh, is that uh, see we are uh, taking a insurance and uh, the, now frequent uh, uh, leaving of the employees so if i take a on, on one employee i take a insurance if he is leaving the job then uh, that will be going as you already uh, told that there is a insurance called contractor insurance something like that but is it applicable for our msme shall we take as a proprietorship concern shall we take as a contractor insurance is it possible yes sir see uh, you as an uh, entrepreneur you have a very right to buy an insurance uh it is your you should be a registered uh, uh company you should have gst at least you know uh so based on that company will decide insurance company will decide whether that can be given or not for private companies and uh, uh, public limited companies there is no issue at all for a proprietary concern we need to submit the proposal and then uh, if the insurance company is willing to take the risk they will give the policy okay to answer uh, what was the first question uh, uh Yeah, my first question was that we are going on paying the premium. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me answer. Huh. See, health insurance is by design called as term insurance. Okay, there are two categories of uh, health insurance. One is called indemnity, another is benefit. Okay, all these health insurance where you claim hospitalization benefits. and other things are called as indemnity so for the uh, expense you incurred they will reimburse the uh, expense uh, spent amount in case of uh, uh, benefit policy like like cancer policy okay the moment you are declared that you are a cancer patient they will give the sum assured directly full full without asking any bills uh, like that policies also there in case of uh, uh, health insurance it is designed to be a term insurance it contract is renewable every year so it is a proposer's prerogative to renew it judiciously every year and uh, renewing an year contract does not mean that you can carry it out on for in case of somebody's death or uh, somebody has to be removed from the list or something like that you can return or you can write to the insurance company they will return the uh, premium amount on pro rata basis so you have to exercise your rights in that uh, situation okay contractors uh, policy works differently and some people take workman compensation itself for the contract employees now contractor uh, 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 policy itself is uh, now uh, pro provided by few insurance companies 
companies so that also you can take all we need is uh, you need to explain your problem uh, to us and then we will take care of the solution if it is available okay sir thank you uh, mr nagraj k has a question sir is workman yes. compensation policy required when employees are covered under esi I, you can close this presentation, sir. Or you can close this. So no, the, the, this, this, uh, this is uh, for the group insurance. I wanted to show you some uh, uh, the some of the details. Fine, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I will close that after the you know uh, group group insurance policy for MSME. How it works? I wanted to uh, talk about it. Let me answer the workman compensation and ESI part. See, I uh, the. Small companies have taken workman compensation uh, from me. I uh, because workman compensation and ESI works differently. Workman compensation, like I said in my presentation, takes care of even funeral expenses and children's education of the deceased employee. So that that coverage of workman compensation is totally different. ESI takes care of it. Uh, ESI's uh, coverage is totally different. I think ESI. In my experience of my uh, in engineering, ESI takes care of only hospitalization or medical expenses. Does not give you compensation for death or dismemberment. In case of workman compensation, salary lost, uh, even the uh, health benefits, in, including the children's education, funeral cost, everything will be reimbursed in workman compensation. So both are different. Sir, I just wanted to intervene. Uh, intervene here. Uh, see, whenever we uh, uh, discuss about the workman uh, compensation uh, uh, implementation, the, they are very clearly says present ESI covers e exactly equivalent to the workman compensation uh, uh, way. So that is how we are uh, stuck. Uh, if 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 it uh, is if it is clearly told, you please check the documentation. Don't go by anybody's word. Okay, I have not seen any ESI document because ESI does not come and un come under public uh, okay. uh, insurance uh, forum. So if you can show me the document, I can check that and explain to you if that is uh, covering or not. Does it does oh, it help? Yeah, ninety percent also get the pension, sir. Sorry, family member. Sorry, all uh, from ESIC, all disease members get the uh, pension. Huh. See, again, or, I don't know the coverage. I can't even talk about ESI. But you are saying na, not getting like that. Uh, so from ESIC. Na, no deal, madam. ESI document no deal. Na, na, or the policy document no deal. Kadna. They are giving. They are giving. Irbo do, irbo do. Nan. Then the expense also they are giving. Iga nannatra workman compensation kelo ro. Nannatra ESI ide illa heda la yaro no. Okay. Okay. So this this product brochure which you are seeing, I will share this with Mr. Shekhar. He will uh, circulate it after that afterwards. See, this is a specific pro product for SME. Like I said, with a member, uh, seven member. Uh, company, you can um, uh, start uh, start taking this policy. Uh, so you can cover the uh, day one uh, coverage is given. Okay, waiting period is waived off. Okay, so this is uh, a beneficial policy for uh, 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 the uh, SMEs. Okay. So, so can some you insured, like, uh, sir, maximum is Heli, madam. Sir, can you highlight from uh, Corona coverage little? I missed that point. What exactly you are looking for, madam? Corona coverage. Yes. I what? wanted to know about this. I missed it. Uh, I will send you that brochure to you, ma'am. Sure, I will sure, send sure. you a detailed brochure. This is only a, uh, mm. a snapshot presentation. I will send you the brochure itself. It will have more detail. Sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. How you share means uh, in mail or? I will, I will share it with Mr. Shekhar. He will uh, circulate it among all. Sure. The thank you. So, any any other questions? Yes, uh, Mr. Venkatesh BM, you have a question on key man insurance. Can you just ask, uh, Mr. Niranjan? Yeah, surely. Uh, actually, uh, the key main uh, insurance, as I understood, that can be shown as an expense and it is the person, uh, the risk covered for the organization if we lost the key main. 
uh, as we understand the keyman insurance now you so, talked about the keyman keyman uh, keyman is by default a term life insurance okay and it covers the risk for a key member of the organization like directors or members selected by directors usually take it like board of directors and uh, members who have invested in the company will take the such policies because if in case of their demise the business should not suffer the money will go to the uh, company and they can pay off the debts or vendor dues or employee dues and so many other things which are uh, meant for the uh, you know uh, to be cleared so that is the intention of key man insurance sir. yes i say so uh, okay this is correct uh, since uh, you have explained uh, something about your own client has uh, settled for his uh, family that's why i got uh, oh, that that he, he took key man insurance only he had taken a key man one of the key operators of a machine he had taken a key man insurance for him he recognized him as a key man okay uh, and he because he had taken it he could uh, save the money and he insurance company paid uh, during uh, after his death so his family got benefit uh, because of the insurance not uh, he, that is not exactly i am i was trying to say the uh, family should be like uh, other insurance uh, actually the the risk is covered to the organization if the losing losing of a uh, key person for the organization the loss due to that has to be go to the company i think that is what is understood acha you have made it clear thank you thank you sir so, again key man like term insurance can be taken as employer employee also if you want to take it as a goodwill in this case he had taken it as a goodwill term life insurance and then he paid it to the employee instead of absorbing it to the company uh niranjana suresh here i want to have a question you can explain to the audience also what is the difference in premium between a key man insurance and a normal uh, insurance no difference uh, so which means uh, most of the companies small companies even large companies the they insure the directors and key officers that's a separate uh, provision even the government wants people to insure if they want so the a normal person and the key person will the money that comes as a policy when something happens more in terms of keyman see in keyman insurance proposer is the company organization okay so the organization signs the check for premium in mm. case of individual insurance individual is the proposer and they sign the check so there is no link to the company uh, or, or anything when a person i take the uh, term insurance it is my family will get the benefit in case of key man key man insurance the money will be given to the company not to the uh, individual family it is again it up to the up to the company if they want to uh, absorb it in the company or give it to the employee Yeah, yeah, I think a number of persons uh, selecting the key persons also uh, there there may be a limitation we cannot have no. I, I, I don't think so, sir. There is no. There is no. no it, uh, many big companies, the key men, the board of directors are all key men. So there are many of them who are insured under key men. Yeah, and and uh, uh, some companies take uh, a, a group uh, life insurance instead of key men insurance, uh, which also takes care of the risk. uh sir uh, that risk will not be going to the organization that is again the problem for example i have taken the key man insurance it is a uh, is a big uh, expense so that goes directly to the organization it will not go to the individual it is the it goes to the organization to cover the risk for the organization and That's i think right. directors can be covered the employees if uh, i think numbers i when i try to get uh, ప్రొప్రైటర్స్ uh proprietors no partnership firms can take uh, so the key man insurance will be given based on the turnover of the company and each partner has to sign the proposal in the partnership companies and they have to show the partnership deed whole lot of uh, documentation exists in the in case of key man insurance so those subject to availability of those documentation key man insurance can be given okay and there is a question come information uh, yesterday tata tata group has announced complete salary for 
corona employee victims to their family up to retirement is is there any scheme in insurance for msme sir see the tata group uh, handles things differently okay they have risk mitigation mechanisms uh, defined right from the day one so their uh, msme cannot replicate what tata can can, can do so msme has to devise a separate mechanism for taking care of gratuities employee gratuities and uh, uh, goodwill and compensation for the employees if they are uh, dead so most of the time small companies cannot handle or they cannot emulate tatas tatas are in a different league yeah niranjan i want to add there uh, if you look at tatas group of companies especially tcs they have huge number of people on the bench they are paying them salaries because if something happens the bench people can go and work so this sort of a buffer system that is there with them helps them to you know get this leveraging out of money part and all that stuff so they have used huge cash reserves secondly they are also into insurance through tata aig which means they can do a lot of these schemes tweaking to ensure that they get some no, benefit no 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 they cannot uh, play around with the if you see tata aig it though it belongs to tata group uh, it is uh, not in their prerogative to manipulate for their uh, benefits uh, if they are uh, doing that then they are uh, going to be handled by irdi so they will not be doing that so uh, it is handled differently there is an internal mechanism for uh, handling insurance and uh, benefits for the employees they will take care of it so there is a fund no, established i was about i was about to complete it but for anyway example, uh, before before you talk there one minute yeah. for example ksrtc does not have any employee group insurance or anything okay they handle insurance themselves what is insurance insurance is a shared bar, uh, shared burden okay risk uh, in, instead of uh, transferring the risk only to the company there is it's shared among different people so if i take a health insurance policy there are 1000 uh, other people who are taking the same health insurance policy the money is pooled and then they, it is paid to one or two uh, uh, who claim so otherwise normally there is a pool of money when you form a company you have to deposit certain amount to uh, government of india and uh, irdi only subsequent to that they will uh, uh, give the license so tatas uh, even if they have tata aig it is a public uh, listed company and they cannot use it for their benefit you, uh, within the uh organization any of their organization for if you don't know the reliance uh petrochemical is insured by new india assurance so even though they have a ins- their own insurance group it is insured by new india assurance so uh, by- these kind of internal transactions are there the but it is uh normally under regular regulatory uh compliance so they they cannot play around with it Yeah, but Niranjan, I believe Reliance has also now started looking at the same scheme like what Tata is doing. Uh, you should also know that Tata has got a trust, which gets gets into a lot of CSR activities, which normally helps victims and women entrepreneurship and various other issues in the society. So they have the huge huge cash reserve. I definitely think they would have done something towards this, which means for little larger MSMEs within the group here. they should also be able to create some sort of a funding ability as a group or as a individual company itself to mitigate a little risk for the families no see tata is an uh, uh, amalgamated group it is uh, funded by or uh, uh, chaired by a particular person uh, that is ratan tata and family so tata trust tata sons tata sons so it is it, it is managed totally differently that cannot be directly tra- same tra- structure cannot be transferred to msme because each organization is different so uh, for the insurance uh, consideration or any consideration each individual owning a company under msme scheme is a different organization so they cannot come under one group for the for the sake of insurance which is not allowed as of now as per my, my knowledge it is not allowed Okay, we have another question, um, Sharada Subramaniam. You would you like to ask the question, Sharada Subramaniam? Uh, she typed the question, but I'm unable to understand it. Uh, certain insurance companies have uh, TPA and have uh, yes, sir. 
have to move with TPS? I don't I don't understand the question. Okay, I I see the, the let me uh, explain it uh, in a different way. Uh, maybe I, I whether I answer her, her or not, I don't know. But let me try. See, uh, for a settlement arrangement, most of the health insurance companies have uh, arranged a third party assistance company. They uh, take care of uh, claim settlement and other issues for the uh, benefit of uh, the insured person. So they coordinate, uh, act as a conduit between uh, the claimant and the insurance company. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, a, a claimant need not have to directly interact with the insurance company. They can go and uh, interact with the third party assistance person. And they take care of cashless transaction and other things from the hospital point of view, collect all the documents and things like that. In case of some of the uh, insurance companies like uh, uh, Bajaj and uh, uh, this guy uh, Reliance and uh, uh, Star, they all have internal third party, internal assistance. So their claim settlement uh, is within the company. They have not outsourced it. So they take care of the claim settlement. There is no third party associated with this. Yes, Sharda ma'am, you raised your hand. Please uh, ask me. Sorry, my microphone was uh, muted. Please go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, I just uh, tried to reply to one person. Uh, he was saying that uh, my claim has not been settled with some company. And I think that is in a generalized insurance company, general insurance company, where they have a third party administrator. In such a case, they have to move with the third party, which now the sir has uh, explained. And that is the point which I just tried to tell him that's all. Okay, okay. See, if, if you have any issues with third party, you can directly talk to the branch where your policy is uh, there. If you have an agent uh, uh, assistance, you can talk to your agent. They will be able to help you to coordinate with the branch. So uh, if the third party is not settling down, then you can directly coordinate with the branch as a last result. If that is also not there, then you can escalate it to insurance ombudsman uh, in Bangalore. The office is in uh, Sarak, uh, in Saraki, that is uh, uh, near JP Nagar. Uh, so those who uh, have real issues, they can uh, raise a concern uh, to ombudsman and they will take care of the uh, resolution. Uh, Niranjan, I want to just ask you because sharing also some information. Uh, the Supreme Court on Monday was asking the center to, you know, reply on a rupees four lakh ex gratia to the kin of COVID deceased. Uh, the, you know, there's something pending. Anything about that which you know? Of? No, sir. Okay, because I think the members should be alert to one news that is coming up. It is just a two-day old. Something called a four lakh ex gratia payment to the. Kin, so which means some employees are affected. That could be a facility which the MSMEs should know and that the government is providing. I, until those schemes are made public, uh, we cannot. Yes, yeah, it is in the yeah, it is in the still in the Supreme Court and the government domain. So let it come public. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, we have a question from Mr. Srinivasa HK. Uh, so you mentioned about personal accident cover with auto policies. If more than one vehicle is owned by a person, is there a need to get covered with third party own damage policy of each vehicle? Okay, let, let me explain uh, this. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, if you have a personal accident cover of more than 15 lakhs in any other form, you don't have to take personal accident cover along with your vehicle insurance at all. Any, any vehicle insurance. Okay. So uh, if you don't have, then you have to take it for at least one vehicle. Uh, at least one vehicle you have. It, it is under ownership, your ownership means a sense. Name of, uh, say, Niranjana, if you have two vehicles, you can take insurance for one vehicle. Does, does it help? Any, 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 any other question on that? No, insurance can be, insurance should be taken for two vehicles, but no, 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 no. If, if the vehicle in the name of the same, two vehicles are in the name of the same person, then they have to take personal accident cover for one vehicle. That too, if you don't have any personal accident cover elsewhere. So if you have a personal accident insurance separately, then you don't have to buy it along with your vehicle at all. You can forego that. It is not mandatory anymore. 
Okay. We ask I, I, when I give vehicle insurance, I ask the uh, the person whether you have a personal accident cover elsewhere. So if they have, uh, some people say I have uh, covered it by my company. It is their risk. Okay, it is their declaration. I will not force them to add personal accident cover uh, within the policy. It is their risk. If they are not taking, it is their risk. So it is uh, purely. Uh, your voluntary declaration and your, it is your responsibility to take personalized accident cover. However, if you have two vehicles under same name, if I have two vehicles under two different person's name, then you have to take personal accident cover for both the persons. If you have both the vehicles under one person's name, then one vehicle should be covered under personal accident. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Can we take some more questions? I think I have time. I think, uh, I, think I, I uh, the personal accident I have to, uh, oh, I have I have personal accident uh, cover for around thirty lakh and uh, I have taken uh, uh, for the vehicle also along with the vehicle insurance. Are, are you going to get both or it is only one as per the rule? No, no, no. Both are different, sir. See the if you uh, if you have taken along with the vehicle. If there is any accident during the vehicle uh, riding, then you can uh, uh, go for hospitalization and uh, injury uh, management through personal accident cover of the vehicle. So that is not required actually if you have a separate cover of the 30 lakhs already. Okay. High court uh, in, uh, made it mandatory initially because many vehicle riders are ignorant or careless about not having uh, I mean, uh, for uh, having a personal accident cover for themselves. So they, uh, to, to, to mitigate such things, the high court uh, passed an order. So it was made mandatory initially. Initially, there was a confusion that each vehicle had to take. The insurance companies collected a lot of premiums by that. But that is not the case. Subsequently, there was clarification that uh, having adequate cover that is the terminology used. Having an adequate cover of personal accident cover for each person is important. If you have it in, in some form, then you don't have to buy it along with your vehicle also. Any more questions? Can we take? Uh, just one more to add. Uh, uh, so what is your opinion uh, on the, you know, uh, the insurance uh, uh, new company like uh, LIC, New India, uh, Assurance versus uh, private insurance uh, companies uh, with respect to settlement premiums and other things. Sir, that is very transparently available in IRDI website. The important matrix you will look at is claim settlement ratio. So because of, see now LIC is not government. Okay. LIC was always quasi government and uh, now it is also getting uh, divested. So it is it has picked up its work and their performance is actually very competitive in comparison to even private companies. That's why their market share has not reduced. However, private companies also work very efficiently. Uh, they, you can still see some service gaps in all the companies. So that way, I don't want to distinguish. I have uh, agencies with uh, both private and uh, public sector companies. New India Assurance is still with Government of India. Uh, they have their own laid back uh, way of working. I, uh, when I'm prescribing uh, product, common product like health insurance, uh, I can give comparative quotes from New India Assurance and Manipal Signa. However, I would advise uh, uh, to work with Manipal Signa for the reason that they are more cooperative, more uh, flexible, uh, and you can, the people are available. They come to your doorstep for the presentation and things like that. So they are more, uh, you know, uh, as a company, their services are much better. In New India Assurance, uh, some people want Government of India Insurance for the uh, uh, security, some kind of security. So uh, if a customer asks, I have to give it from uh, New India Assurance. However, New India Assurance is 100-year-old company. Their experience in insurance sector is unmatchable by any other company uh, in, in general insurance sector. Same way. In life insurance sector, their uh, LIC's experience is unmatchable by any other company. So uh, that is where, uh, uh, you know, uh, it can be a comfortable choice for some of the people. So it entirely depends on people. I don't, uh, as an uh, advisor, it is not my uh, 
uh, I, I mean, I, I am not supposed to suggest a customer that they should go with so and so company. I will not force anybody to go with any particular company. I normally tell you go with any company listed under IRDAI. So you have to first check whether that company is IRDAI registered, certified. Then you can go with them as the insurer. And next data you look at is claim settlement ratio. So if anybody uh, has 76, 80% claim settlement, then you have a problem if you take an insurance from such company. Because you are, there are chances that your claims are rejected at a later stage. Uh, Nirajan, by sh uh, sharing a thought and asking a question, how ethical and transparent are the insurance agents or their officers in uh, you know certifying that the claim is okay? Because one part participant did ask a question. It was very difficult for me to speak then. I said, let more questions come, maybe towards the end of the question sessions, it will be pertinent. Do you think these officers and things are seeking gratification? Let's be very straight, honest, frank. Sir, ideally, uh, ethics is a personal uh, uh, matter, you know. Some, I, I, I have not encountered such things. I have not yeah. encountered such things. I cannot comment on such things. Because I he has spent four months uh, running around and he's got no way something is happening. So either he has to be told that he's getting it or not getting it and why he's not getting it. Sir, that is a particular specific issue for a particular person or a company. So they have to take it up with the insurer or they have to go to ombudsman. So they, it is it, there is nothing to do with agency here. Okay. Uh, if yeah. the officers okay. are not responding, you have to go and kick their butt. Let me put it simply that. You have to go and make some noise. You cannot hmm. simply keep quiet in some place. So right. nowadays, uh, all uh, government of India insurance companies also, there is a service level performance and their uh, privatization is also on the talks already. So they are all uh, petrified. So you can go and kick their butt. So please do that. I hope the person who asked the question, he got some resp response to this. No, he can uh, still please. contact me later. I want to understand his problem a little more if I can help uh, him in any way. Let me see if I can help in any way. So even if it is not within my purview, let me see if I can shake some uh, uh, boats and then see if, they, if I can get some response. Uh, great, Niranjana. But before, you know, I wish more people ask questions. But before that, let me tell you, it was a fantastic session. Anybody wants to start a business, there is Dr. Purvi who will start giving you a complete list of how to mitigate the risks so that you are guided very well and start the business. Once you have started business, you don't have to worry about the risk. Then Niranjana will this definitely take care. And if all that is there, the LUB community and the LUB members, the LUB, LUB management is there. I hope more, more of the members encourage your own people to set up business, become members. And it's a great uh, uh, team to have with us also who can help you. Uh, more questions, please. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. I, uh, see, first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Suresh Iyer, uh, my friend, and he uh, gave me this opportunity to come to, to uh, come to this platform and meet all of you, and uh, LUB for uh, having such wonderful session. I am looking forward to associate with you, your organization more and more in the future. Uh, I am I am here to help. Okay, me, Suresh Iyer, and uh, Dr. Puvi, and many other people uh, who are. Uh, you know, participating in this forum have collective experience of many, many, many years. So we all can work together and help each other and grow. So Corona or no Corona, we all can grow together. So thank you all. Thanks for listening to me. If you have any questions, always you can contact me. I have left my WhatsApp number, email ID, uh, and other details. So please feel free to contact me anytime. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot uh, to the panel of speakers as well for their comprehensive session today. We really appreciate all of them for accepting our invite and addressing our members today. I'm sure some of the questions which were asked by our uh, members have been answered. answered. Uh, once again, I thank all the speakers today. And for the participants, uh, we have a very important session tomorrow on food sector, the challenges and opportunities. Uh, this session will be hosted by Sri Ranga and Mr. Jayesh Kantaria, both are food and retail sector strategists. Uh, again, this was uh, this topic was suggested by some of our members. So hence, I request all the participants to kindly participate and uh, benefit out of the session. Thank you very much. And I formally close the session. Thank you, sir.
Hi, Dukhna. How are you? How was the session? Very intense, na? Hmm. Hmm. Shekhar, in the beach, Shekhar called me twice, thrice and asked, you know, tell her to cut short because she's elongating. I can't tell her. Yeah, everybody wants to speak, but then, you know, the way they manage the slides and the storytelling, she should have stuck to her slides. It would have been a fantastic journey for her. Absolutely. Uska story, mera students ka, isko hai. They want to hear Niranjan. You have to connect with the insurance. And I am trying, I can't go and teach people like that. I told you, know, these are the people who have been. She did adhere to the points, no? She was talking the stories, yeah. Uska stories. Vapas, vapas, farmer ka, iska, uska. It doesn't uh, uh, take any. This is an academic loka, academic loka thing. See, that's why I told you, let's see where your quality was. If you know, even if you had spoken a story, your presentation was very rich. Get me? And I thought this Niranjan will not thank me at the end. He thanked me, fortunately. Otherwise, all these alliance people. No, no, these alliance people are like that. They are just apna kaam ho ke atte ko purvi ke dar bola kya? Suresh ka bola kya? She didn't speak. They don't. A purvi in all this in the Ralka gang, you know. She, they, uh, they, that person is trying to push her to get into the limelight because they feel left out. So we will have a job. Yeah, we'll focus for tomorrow. Abhi kya karne ka? Now I'll tell you. I'll tell you again. Yes. Group meet and be very, very focused because Sri Ranga Kum hai, Jayesh ka connect bola tha na. Jayesh is top guy in retail. Unka dono ko connect kar dega to Devas. Jayesh is in the Tenora group. He's in the website if you see. He's a part of Tenora group in the website. Yeah, yeah. He, Arvind, we are all three together there. And he's a retail specialist. And if Jayesh has an eye on uh, uh, this guy, Ranga, he, he get to connect to a lot of people. Okay, so that's tomorrow is a formidable team. Both are very good in operational things. I know it. And uh, Jayesh Gola, Suresh, yaar, main kya baat karun, yaar, tu bhi yaar, bode pe aata hai, main bola, dekho, I started right now. Yeah, ra, ra, Ranga, Ranga, like Purvi, Purvi first and uh, Niranjana second. Tomorrow Ranga first, Jayesh second. Hmm, hmm, you know. So why I'm doing this is to ensure that those people, LUB, should not feel I'm doing the job. Shekhar knows that I can speak on all the topics. Yeah, I can also speak on all this insurance what Niranjana spoke. Nobody knows I'm an insurance agent, but I don't want to. I didn't become an insurance agent. I went through all the training. And I've trained insurance people on the 100 crore club. Sitarama knows about it. So I, I don't want to. So Shekhar, so I can't be everywhere. So I'll push somebody else so that you know it becomes... For me, it doesn't matter. I don't care what I did. See, in, uh, Niranjan didn't answer when that guy said, four months I'm going here and there. I'm not be able to claim my insurance, correct? I mean, Niranjan should answer straight away. Maybe that guy is asking for money. And I know it. I just pulled it up and he said, yes, kick him in the butt. Ata ke line pe answer. So these people, Purvi could have done it, no? Purvi could have answered. So she didn't have the prestige. That's why the academic part comes in. So when you put people in the academic, they can speak any slides here, but they can't come into the fold of experience. That's why you fit in. You fit in the, the mold of experience, the level of maturity. It's a class apart. God name both. Anyway, abhi, uh, my slides bana hi leta kal ke liya. Apne ko 80, 90 slides bana ne ka hai. Haan, mein karta hon. We'll share both. Uh, yeah, what I will want to do is, I will speak for one hour, 15, 20 minutes. That half, half the thing. And then I will ask you to just read out certain slides. So slides he padne ka hai. Usme jaake dhyan mat do, explain karne ka. Then I will, wo beech mein break dene ka bolta hai. During that break, I will tell them that you can speak about how you are engagement on the design fashion. So you can say how you are engaging your class. Now what slide you made, no? Design thinking. Okay. You say that this is what I do in my training. Hmm. 
ओके आई 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 स्पीक टू यू अबाउट यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग वो डिजाइन थिंकिंग का तो तेरे को अच्छा यू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट डिजाइन थिंकिंग नाउ यू स्पोक फॉर 40 मिनट्स वो स्लाइड्स पूरा कट करके खाली चार पांच स्लाइड रख के उसको जरा एक्सप्लेन करने का टेल देम टुडे द न्यू वर्ल्ड इज डिजाइन थिंकिंग यू हैव टू थिंक सो आई विल जस्ट रन डाउन फोर पॉइंट्स थ्रू स्लाइड्स फॉर यू टू शो यू हाउ डिजाइन थिंकिंग इज वर्किंग एंड शो द स्लाइड ऑफ फैशन कैसा बदल गया इतना ही नॉट ऑल द 24 स्लाइड्स टुमारो इज गोइंग टू बी स्टोरी टेलिंग tomorrow is going to be asking them to do 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 rather than you know apna aisa wo kar sakta hai wo company ke study kuch nahi hai kal mai when we see the slides you will see it how that is tomorrow it's going to be interactive i'm going to ask questions they will be answering ah uh, so we'll catch up on this let's finish the meeting ka time dalo meeting ka dalo apna time dalo we'll finish it off ha uh, yeah and then i have to coordinate with ranga and kai kanta and sanjesh
थैंक यू थैंक यू हो रहा है हो गया फोर्टी सेकेंड्स वन मिनट में बंद हो रहा है
Thank you. 